everyone. Thanks for tuning in to LCTV. I am your host, Erica Kwaska. Today, we are very, with a very special guest. Her name is Jessica Lorelli. She is an underwater photographer. And we are here today to find out how her experience is as an underwater photographer. Hi, Jessica. How are you? I'm doing wonderful, Erika. Thank you so much for taking your time to uh, come to my underwater world. And thank you guys for uh, looking at this video and supporting us. So, Jessica, I want to know how your experience as an underwater photographer is, because we are we all know that everything you do is under the water, and it's not like a regular photographer that's out there doing fashion shoots, like let's just say Wynwood in Miami or regular fashion shows like Miami Fashion Week. Everything you do is in the water and under the water. I want to know how is that experience as an underwater photographer? Tell us a little bit about yourself and who is Jessica Lorelli? Well, underwater photography, to me, it's my heart and soul. Um, I don't see it as a, a ph photography. I, I see it as about a theme and connecting the water element to, to us humans and adding glamour, beauty, and, you know, making a serene image of uh you know, of a person, kids, models, you know, whoever decides to come underwater with me, which is a lot of fun. I really, really love it. Um, when I do my job, I do it with my heart. So, and when I, you know, everything I do underwater, the way I treat my customers, the way I treat anyone that assists me on this, it's, it's all, it's all done with passion. So whatever you see, it has taken a lot of, a lot of me, a lot of my heart and to give you a and my customer the best of me, which that is my purpose, is to get the best of me. And once again, to connect the water elements to glamour, to beauty, and make things serene and see life from a different perspective. Tell us a little bit about the type of models you shoot. Are there are they would you rather shoot tall models, short models, or a little bit of everything? And tell us what has been your favorite shoot by far until now from all the shoots that you've done. I know you do maternity shoots. I don't know, have you ever done a dance shoot possibly? What which shoot has been your favorite shoot so far? Well, every shoot to me, it's different because, you know, we all have a different personality. We we all have something different. So every shoot is different and, uh, you know, which I like it because it's it's we are creating a, a, kind of like a story, a theme. You know, sometimes I would get a, a lady that, you know, that I would be doing a maternity shoot. So I have to treat her with caress, be careful because we're not just dealing with, with, with the mother, but, you know, knowing that we're taking her underwater with the baby. So we have to be extremely careful of any move any rough movement movements and being underwater or you know make sure that she is not getting tired and short breath and you know those are the things I'm a mother myself and when I do a maternity shoot I would say those are one of my ba uh, favorites because I am dealing with an unborn child you know with somebody with a baby that's still in there and and I'm able to capture those beautiful moments that he or she will see you know, down the road, and maybe he or she will appreciate these images from the mother. Um, about models, I I take underwater. You know, it could be infants, it could be little kids, it could be real models, it could be mothers, um, any ages. I don't have an age preference, as as everyone deserves to go underwater and create a beautiful image of themselves. So. Um, so everyone is welcome to come and join me underwater and I will take perfect care of you, promise. That is awesome. I love how you use creativity to do your photo shoots. That's awesome. I'm, for instance, I'm actually a ballet dancer. How, how would that experience be if you were to shoot me under the water? Well, you see, that's exactly when, when somebody comes to me and they tell me what their uh, hobby is or what their passion is, I can right away put a picture, dream something, and, and tell you what we need to do. 
I will I will drive the shoot and you just tell me what fits you, what you know, what your passion is, and I'll make sure that I capture those moments and make those dreams come true come true underwater. Um, you know, we all like mermaids, you know, all females. When we were little girls, we all wanted to be mermaids. So if you have ballet shoes, you know, I'll take you underwater if you want to. Let's do this now. I don't know if you have your shoes with you in the car, but you know, let's get it done. Awesome. I would definitely love that. So you guys stay tuned for what's next on Latin Connection Magazine. Jessica, would you like to say hello and give a shout out to Latin Connection Magazine? Absolutely. First of all, Erica, I want to thank you for taking the time to come into my underwater world. And hopefully, if you want to, we can do a shoot right after this. And yes, I would like to thank Latin Connection for, you know, featuring my my passion in your magazine over the Internet uh, with this video. I really appreciate them bringing this to you, to the audience, people that will feed for what I from what I do. And, you know, and it can expand, expand your mind. Um, you know, it's not just about the surface, it's also the underwater world. You know, the world is a little bit more or less 75% water. So why not capture different moments, different passions? Why not be creative, be different, be you? So thank you very much, Latin Connection, and thank you very much, Erica. It's our pleasure. And guys, stay tuned. For the next Latin Connection magazine, you will see Jessica on the next edition of Latin Connection magazine and all of her creative underwater work. So stay tuned for the next edition of Latin Connection magazine. Thanks for tuning in to LCTV.